Hedron and its long-term potential. I mean, I love Hedron. I mean, Hedron is a core component of Maxi. It's like the one of the large income streams in Team because Team, you know, the, like part of the the bonus sharing is is the Hedron from the pools. Um, Poly, which is a 15-year Hedron staking pool. So across Maxi and, and in Maxi, for instance, it mints the Hedron and hoards it for 15 years. Poly is hoarded. So like, you know, and it, I, I think it's an awesome concept of like a, a token that adds a new independent income stream to the hex stakes. Like that's amazing. So, um, so yeah, I, I, I love, love Hedron. I think it has some like a lot of overhead from just like the, because just of the, who got, most of the hedron and how long they can continue to get most of the hedron like with the 10x bonus where the bo- where like the amount is is rooted in the t shares times the days served and so what that means is that when the t shares were the least expensive was at the launch where like price was a thousand times lower hedron or the share rate was three times lower and then those people got 10x bonuses that they can mint for the next 12 years. So that's, that's probably the only, like only bad part, not even bad. Cause it's just like, okay, like, you know, the, the supply has to be distributed somehow. Um, you know, so there's a little bit of overhead in that sense. Um, and, you know, so I, I think he, he drew the token is, is great. Um, you know, I, I, I prefer like in terms of like liquid stakes and like secondary market for stakes, I definitely prefer the perpetual pool style of um, sellable stakes compared to the HSI. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, I do think the HSI is a good tool. Like uh, HSI should be how the default hex stake is. Cause then it, it can kind of elite like, like for the, for the main problem with the normal hex staking is like the whole gas issue, which we solve with the pools. If native, if heck like, you can you could retroactively turn an HSI into a stake pool, like if you if you own an HSI, like literally through the the same mechanism that operates Poly, where it can like HSIs can go into a bucket and then you can distribute ownership across all of those and and distribute the gas payment across everybody. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think a HSI is a good a good concept. Um, I but I think that I mean I'm I'm obviously preferential to the perpetual pool style, like the ERC twenty cool. with multiple owners as opposed to nft one-to-one owner um and um it could probably do without the auction system i think um it's it's a cool dynamic um you know but um it kind of had to be kick-started with the icosa system so i think that because it kind of had to be kick-started with that external system probably could have done without it you know but it still is an awesome concept um and yeah. Well, so, you know, well, only thing about HSIs is I don't, I don't, I wouldn't, I don't like the part where it stops you from saving yourself. I, I think of course for gas saving and it depends on like how much hex and stuff we, we talked about that before, but I, I that's the only thing I would say is I wouldn't use them for my retirement account, for example, or the bag that I want to hold on to for a really long time because they are liquid. Right. So how, how, do, how do you reconcile that? Like, do you, do you worry about that or do you, are you just like super self-disciplined? You don't think like you, like all are, are all new uh, stakes you make, are they HSIs or perpetuals and you just diamond hands them or you don't like, how, how do you do it? Yeah. I mean, like I, I'll, I'll, I'll probably never do a native hex stake again. Only, only pools. I, my, my, and my favorite pool is, is lucky. I think just kind of seeing everything played out and also because kind of to play in what you said, like, a lot of stakes I think are going to be ending around the halfway mark. Like a ton of people that had max length stakes, I swear to God are going to end their stake <laughs> at the halfway mark and reclaim their principal. And like, because so many people are probably like already going to do that. It's like, you might as well just stake for seven years. It's like, there's not that, I mean, there is a substantial, you know, cause like a seven year stake is 140% bigger pays better compared to the 200% bigger pays better um, of a, of a max length. But you know, so like, twice the time, but only, what is that? Like 60% or let, no, like no, 40% more T shares per hex stake. Like, I think there's a sweet spot there in the middle um, where, you know, with, with that shorter stake and cause it, you know, doesn't like clog the chain. Um, cause like a whole bunch of like everyone doing like 
the individual max length stakes, like it's going to be horrible. It like not, not for the people that hold maxi and not for people that hold pooled stakes, but for people staking on their own, it's just like, it's, it's a problem that gets worse every single day that people solo stake. Um, and, um, so that's why like I, 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 I like, I prioritize the gas fee savings because they can be substantial for the long stakes over like, you know, kind of having the, or be, having to like have the fortitude to not early end stake and panic. You know what I mean? Like, okay. you know, like I, I think that like people, I think people have a lot more resolve than they think. It's like, if you're aware of the fact that you could like panic and sell, like the fact that you're aware of it means that you can counteract those feelings. You know, if like, you know, cause like, just Maybe. cause it's lit, it doesn't mean you have to sell it and you can do things to make like, you know, like, I mean, even just for general security, like it, it's, it's probably better if like your like high value long-term cryptos are not somewhere like where they're just like in your house, you know, like there should be some added steps to doing And maybe things like that can kind of help with some of the emotions. Maybe the dip catcher algorithm can kind of help with the emotions too. <laughs> like, well, so. I, w- I will say the portability uh, as far as being able to transfer out of your wallet to like a longer term, st- like cold storage, for example, that is one big benefit of, because otherwise, if you know, especially people who started stakes two or three years ago, maybe they didn't know much about crypto. They didn't know where they're going to put the stuff and they did a native stake. Yeah. You better take care of that wallet for the next 15 years or 10 years or however long. So that is definitely one, one benefit I could see, but oh, yeah. saving yourself I mean, from yourself is, is, is what I optimize for at least, but maybe. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You're right. Like when Hex started, you know, and it was worth nothing. It's like, you weren't thinking about big time infosec around your, your wallet, you know? And that's, yeah, I was like, how can I, you know, I, and I've been following Richard for a couple of years before Hex even launched. And I was thinking, how can I not, you know, in case this Richard, in case Richard's coin doesn't work out, can I at least get my principal back out? <laughs> that's what mm-hmm. I was thinking back then. Uh, just in yeah. case it doesn't work out. Oh, maybe I'll pick up a little bit more. Okay. I can't lose money now. This is cool. This is cool. Um, yeah. That was yeah I, I was pretty lucky. I was, I was generally pretty paranoid. I mean, in general. Um, and also like, before Richard, my main source of like high value information in crypto was from Trace Mayer and his whole mm. stick is about like, you know, the proof of keys and like he, he goes to the extent of like, um, you know, like introducing the concept of like dedicated air gap devices, um, you know, and different methods of storage and key generation. So like, you know, but you know, you never know what, what how it's going to turn out. So it's good to have good practices anyways. But yeah, I mean, the, the portability and the fungibility is like a big, you know, because you can kind of spread that out. And also like with, a, if you're holding like a pool token, say say you put like 100,000 hex into Lucky and, you know, you did that. And then your friend the same day put 100,000 hex into a solo stake say you only need like a couple hundred bucks or a couple thousand bucks, you can just sell some of it. Whereas like ending your solo stake, it's like an all or nothing deal. So 